This is my last video over linear equations. And the only thing that we haven't talked about with linear equations yet is what are the equations of horizontal and what are the equations of vertical lines. So we've talked about equations with positive slope. So if it has a positive slope, that means our line is going to be increasing or going up from left to right. And we've talked about linear equations with negative slope. And if our equations have negative slope, they're going to be going down from left to right. But we have not talked about what are horizontal equations like and what are vertical equations like. So we need to figure out what does the equation look like for both of those, and we need to figure out what does the slope look like for both of those. So we're going to start with a horizontal line. Now I just have a generic horizontal line graphed for us here. And on this line, I have two generic points um, selected. But I could have graphed this horizontal line anywhere. And I could have picked any points on this horizontal line. And it will all work out the same. So the points that I have randomly selected here look like the point of 5, of 5, 7, and 8, 7. So since I have randomly selected two points, I can use my slope formula of rise or rise over run or axis to figure out what my slope between these two points are. So pause the video and see if you can come up with that on your own. So my second y coordinate is 7 minus my first y coordinate of 7 over my second x coordinate of 8 minus my first x coordinate of 5. And that gives me 0 over 3. 0 divided by any number will always simplify to be 0. Now again, I randomly picked two points on this randomly picked horizontal line. But I could have done this with any horizontal line and any two points on that line. So your slope of horizontal lines will always give you 0. Now the equation of horizontal lines. So let's start with one of the equations that we used before, y equals mx plus b or y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Either one of these equations will get you to the correct answer. So pick your favorite and use that equation. I'm going to use my first equation in this example, and then I'll use my second equation in the other example. But either one of these would work. So for my x and y in my first equation, I need to use one of my ordered pairs. I'm just going to randomly pick my second one. But again, if you were to pick the first one, then that would work out as well. For my slope, I need to plug that in for my m value. So at this time, I have 7 is equal to 0 times my x value of 8. And I need to solve for what my b value is. Well, 0 times 8 cancels out. And so that gives me my b value of 7. Now, do not forget that you do not stop here because we're looking for an equation of the line. So our equation is y equals 0 for my slope times x plus my b value, which I just solved for, which is 7. Now, this is technically a correct answer. However, this is not the most simplified answer here. I can take 0 times x. That cancels out, and so my most simplified version of this equation is y equals 7. So if you're trying to come up with the equation of a horizontal line, it will always come down to y is equal to a specific number. You will not have any x's in this equation. And that number that you're looking for is always the 
seen Y value everywhere throughout this line. Notice all of my Y values on this line is 7. So that's why my number is equal to 7. So all horizontal lines will have slope of 0, and all horizontal lines will have the equation of Y is equal to that number, whatever your Y values are on that line. Hopefully we can take this information and interpret it when you're trying to figure out how it works out for vertical lines. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out the slope in the equation for all vertical lines. Okay, in this example, the points that I have randomly picked are 4, 3, and 4, 8. To come up with my slope, I again plug that into my rise or y's over run or x's equation. So that gives me 3 minus 8 over 4 minus 4 which gives me negative 5 over 0. Now when you try and divide anything by 0, that does not simplify. If you were actually to type that in your calculator, that would give you an error because that gives you something that is undefined. So the slope of all vertical lines are undefined, which we usually just abbreviate UND. Now, if we were trying to come up with the equation for this one, even if we knew either one of our formulas here, it doesn't really help us much. Because if I have to plug in undefined in for my n value in either equation, I would have to stop there. Because I cannot simplify I cannot multiply or divide or add or subtract anything by undefined. It just doesn't make any sense. So I have to go back to my horizontal line, kind of remember that equation of y equals a number, and let us interpret it for our vertical line. It's not going to be y equals a number. Our equation for all vertical lines are actually going to be x equals a number because all of your x values are going to be exactly the same. So that's the generic equation. In this problem, our equation is going to be x equal 4, because every one of these ordered pairs on this line starts with an x coordinate of 4. Now there is a way to remember how horizontal and vertical lines work, and that's with the acronym HOIVA, H -O -Y the UX. So the first three letters stand for horizontal line. So H for horizontal line. O to tell us that we have zero slope. And Y to tell us that our equation is Y equals a number. Rux, the second part of it. The V stands for vertical line. The U tells us that we have undefined slope. And the X tells us that our equation is X equals a number. So if you can remember Hoivex, that should help you remember how horizontal and how vertical lines work. Now the one thing I do want to point out here is notice that neither one of these have the answer of no slope. It does not make any sense to have no slope. So that's something that a lot of my students usually tell me, and I do not know if that means you're a vertical line or a horizontal line. So our answers are either zero slope or undefined slope. And the computer program that you have to type your answers into will also be looking for the same thing, zero or undefined. No such thing as no slope. So that's the thing to help us with horizontal and vertical lines. And just to help you with all linear equations, I have recapped all of the formulas that we have here, as well as your Hoivex that we just talked about. So these are all of the important equations that you will need to know to go over linear equations.